Hello everyone, Matthew Emway here. In this video, I'll be reviewing and analyzing the book of Boba Fett Season 1, Episode 7, Curl and Disney Plus. I'll go over several topics and point out several Easter eggs in this episode. I also want to say thank you for helping me reach 300 subscribers on this channel and still need more help to get to 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Now I'm with a view. The name of this episode is called Chapter 7 in the name of honor. The episode starts off with Boba Fett with the next Shan and the leader of the biker gang named Drash and the one who has the black cyber with the one eye named Scad. As the viewer knows that the Pikes blew up the canteen and most Epsa and destroyed some of the businesses. It's one of those tragic events that remind the viewer of a terrorist attack. Bubba says they need to go to his palace, but Trash told him that she and Scab will stay to protect the city. He told him that they will stay. The Mandalorian told him that he will stay as well as Finnick Shan. Groku shows up in an X-Wing flown by R2-T2 as he could not fly a starship yet. He tells Peelin Mutta his name is Groku and she says she will not call him that. She later takes him to see the Mandalorian. The Veer later sees Cad Bane go to the Pikes and the mayor is there as well. The Pikes told Cad Bane that they were the ones that killed the Tosin Raiders, the Sand People. Cad Bane told him, I did not know that the Pike were this Rufus. The Pike leader says we're not Rufus, we're just pragmatic. And surprised him to that extent. It was one of those things that surprised me, to be honest. I thought the bikers that looked like Hell's Angels killed the Tusken Rangers, and the viewer finds out it is not so. The Pikes have been smuggling spice throughout Tandaline. The Pike Syndicate is no different than a crime syndicate. A crime syndicate is one that deals with anything that will help make them money. The Pikes are acting like a drug cartel. They are smuggling spice, which is a drug in the Star Wars universe. Remember, it has an orange powder that was met in the beginning of the last episode of episode 6. And as you remember, the marshal kicked it open and it shows orange. That's the color of, spite, of the spice, by the way. It reminds me of the series of Dope Six, which dealt with talking about Oxycontin. They talked about heroin that series, and this reminds me of it. The pikes are falling spice throughout Tatooine and destroys lives, as the series tells us. As the beer binds out, Cat Bane goes to Boba Fett and he taunts him and tells him that the people of Freetown will not help you as you shot the Marshal and the deputy in the last episode. As I point out, if you try to fight this guy in a gunfight, you will lose more than you win. This guy is a fast shot and trying to outshoot him is a mistake. You will have to beat him in another file sound. What This means is you would have to beat him in hand-hand combat sound. You might even use a sword or knife against him. I'm sure they was asked, how would I have some idea about fighting this stuff? Oh, you never see me fight. Well, guess again, I am a 4 3 black belt in Taekwondo, and I understand about certain fighting styles, so I can tell you if it would make sense to go with someone to the gunshot. When someone he could shoot like this, no, you wouldn't want to go against him. You'd be better off because he may not have head hand combat skills. Baba believes he can take him, but Fennec Shan tells him to think it and not act emotionally. He agrees with her and listens to her. It is the smart move. Later, the viewer sees that the crime lords that told Boba Fett they would remain neutral was a lie. In that sense, it was Mark Marky. When they got a chance to gain profit, they took it as it would make them lots of money. The Gamorrean guards, unfortunately, do not make it as they were forced down the hill. The viewer feels sorry for them, and it makes sense to feel that way. They were loyal and did not deserve to go down like this. Fennec Shan, fortunately, rescues the Biker King that are cyborgs from the ambush, and they later regroup and go to help Boba Fett. Boba Fett, along with the Mandalorian, agreed they must make their stand here. The Mandalorian tells him he will not abandon them as the way the Mandalorian says not to. This is against the creed. He says, I guess you believe that, man. I do. And Bob, he tells Bob, are you going to go back to your palace? No, I have a responsibility to protect the city. So Bob has a code is in a sense for himself as well, like the Mandalorian. He told Baba he helped him and he would keep his word. The creature with the hell tails agrees to tell the Pikes Baba's terms. Baba tells him he will not surrender to them and he will put them down the ground like fertilizer. This makes sense to the viewer and this does not make sense Baba will surrender. He does not negotiate and this is a guy who is a great fighter. Why would you do it? And two, you don't negotiate with anyone that has you in a no-win situation because usually you will not come out on the better side of it. Boba Fett, along with the Mandalorian, use the distraction of the creature with the head tails and attack the pikes. They start hitting them hard, and this is a good fight scene, as I love Boba Fett and the Mandalorian working together. 
The people of Freetown come to their aid just in time. It is at the right moment. Not only did they show up, the biker gang that are cyborgs and Blacker Sanford. Bubba told Blacker Sanford that he thought he did not make it. He told him you'll get in a fan attack once this is over. It looks like they had won, but we see droids that use shields from the prequels. It does not look good as they have shields, and Bubba Fett and his friends appear to be at a disadvantage. Bubba says we need more reinforcements. The Mandalorian told him you have no friends left. Bubba had one more fiend up his sleeve. Bubba Fett gets the Ranger to come to his aid and that the Ranger can get through the shield of the Jorahs. The Mandalorian uses the dark saber and it cuts the arm of the Jorah off. The Ranger breaks the droid in half. They keep doing this until the droids are destroyed and the pikes are laid to waste. Bubba Fett tries to use the Ranger against Cab Bane. Cab Bane uses a torch and it scares the Ranger off. Bubba Fett gets in a gunfight with Cab Bane, but Cab Bane shoots him down. Cab looks like he's going to win when Bubba uses the weapon he had from the Sand People and uses to kill Cab Bane. This goes back to what I mean about beating him another way. Instead of trying to beat him in a gunfight, Bubba used hand-to-hand -hand combat skills instead. The Ranker is out of control and it takes Groku to defeat him. Groku uses the force to calm him down and sells down the Ranker. They And as we see in that after that happens, they both will either take a nap. I mean, I wonder how he did it. Well, the Rancor may be no much younger in terms of... He may be a baby like Groku, and he just needed to just realize it's okay, and, he, and just got him calmed down and took a nap. The Pikes decided it's time to leave Jaws, but it's too late for it as Fennec Shan kills them along with the crime lords that betray Bubba and her as well as the mayor. It is just as that this happens. I will not say any more... Of what happens, and do not want to spoil the ending any further. It will set up season three of The Mandalorian. I believe there will be a season two of the book of Boba Fett, as it has been well done. I get this episode a 10 out of 10 rating. This means since I gave it a 10, 10 rating in every episode, yes, this show is that good. It did an extra job of the viewer giving the viewer twists and turns and not making it obvious as it would seem. It used flashbacks in the first four episodes. And the other episodes took place in the present time. It uses a combination of science fiction, fantasy, western mystery, and it's good storyteller. And it blends martial arts with some of the old west styles, which is cool from that standpoint. There's nothing wrong with mixing genres. It gets us to the climax of this season. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell to be notified of any videos in the future at the bottom of this video. Please let me know what books, movies, and TV shows you'd like me to review next in the comment section below. Please share this with your fans and friends. Thank you, everyone, for a wonderful day.